In this video, we're going to show you how to navigate the Just Play Recruiting Coordinator app. In previous videos, we showed you how to set up your events when it comes to your pre-event workflow and the steps you need to take after the schedule for these events come out. Watch those and then come over to this video on how to navigate the app. So as you can see right here, we already have our events assigned to myself so that I can see everything on the app. If you jump into the Recruiting Coordinator app and it's blank, that is because you don't have any events or any games assigned to you. So jump over to the team admin side and make sure all of that is good to go. So right here, I am on the events tab, as you can see, and here are all the events that are assigned to me, as you can see by my initials right here on the right. We have this tab, which is gonna show you the entire event. And on this tab, you are just gonna see those games that are assigned to you. This is what we like to call our head coach's view. So whoever your recruiting coordinator is or whoever's taking control of where everybody's going for your recruiting periods, go ahead and just assign those games out that everybody is going to need to go to and everybody can just stay right here on the assigned games tab. I'm gonna be flipping back and forth between each tab just to show you some differences there. We're gonna go in on the events tab right here and we're gonna go into the Nike EYBL session three down below. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in and you're gonna see some different features up here at the top. So first, my schedule right now is sorted by my game. So this is gonna show me every game that I am assigned to first. If you click on these arrows, you're gonna be able to adjust your sort to whatever you wanna see. So maybe you wanna see all the games by day and time, by court. Our recruits and teams is going to show you just those games that you have players mapped to and teams that you're following or you can even see all of your other staff's games. So I'm gonna flip it to our recruits and teams and you'll be able to see that sort change right here. You also have this filter icon over on the right that you can filter down to see exactly what you want, whether that's separate courts, dates, specific teams at the event, divisions, and even locations for the event. You can even change what staff members you're looking at when it comes to those assigned games. And you also have this past games checkbox right here. So if you are looking at a previous event and you're not seeing any games, just jump in here and flip that to yes and you should be good to go. Always click search once you set those filters and you'll be able to see those filters that you set on. So right now we're gonna move down and we're gonna show you our game card. So I'm gonna go to this second game right here and this is what we like to call our game card. So the first piece of our game card is the time of the game in the time zone that you are currently in, not the time zone of the event. So this will move with you as you change time zones. Then you have some different badges over here on the right. This first badge you see is going to be the division of the game. And then this next badge is going to be the court and the location of the game. And you can click on this hyperlink right here, which will take you to Google Maps and give you turn by turn directions. There is one other badge in the assigned games tab that will be right here at the front. And we will show you that here in a second. As we move down on the game card, you're going to see the teams that are playing in the game, obviously, and you're going to see them color coded. So this first one right here, this is green and we have those players underneath. This means that the players down below are mapped to this PSA Cardinals team. In this game card up here, you're gonna see this team is blue. So this just means that we are following this team. We don't have any specific recruits coming from this team just yet. We just wanted to make sure we are seeing all Ohio red while we are at this event. So we just followed that team as opposed to mapping them like we did down below. If you want to follow any teams right here on the app, so maybe you're watching this game and you like Team Mellow and you wanna see more games, all you gotta do is click this plus button and you'll see that that will turn blue and let you follow that team. As we move on down, you have the ability to assign games to other staff members right here on the app as well. All you need to do is click on the star and all of your other staff members that are in your account will pop up and you can go ahead and assign those out. So if your head coach text you and says, hey, I wanna see what Team Thad is doing, so can you get me some of their games? All you gotta do is go down and find those games that Team Thad is playing and click on that star and assign those out so they can see them on their assigned games tab. 
Moving on, you have this video icon. Any event that is gonna have live streaming and those links are available to us, we will make sure that that is on the game card here. So all you'll have to do is click on that video icon and it will just bring you over to where they're live streaming those games. So not every game will have these, but be on the lookout for that icon as well. You also have this attended checkbox. This is really gonna help out your dobos or whoever's keeping track of arms or jump forward or whatever you're using for compliance on whoever went to those games. So if you do attend a game, just go ahead and check that box and it'll be easy to just go ahead and export that out after. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the game card and you're gonna be able to see those recruits that we have mapped to that team PSA Cardinals. From here, you can jump into each recruit profile and this is how you can adjust any bio information if you want by clicking edit and changing what you would like. You can toggle over to the games tab and this is gonna show you every game that this recruit is playing at this event. And then the activity tab is kind of like a Twitter feed of what any other coaches are doing for this recruit. So any notes that have been made, any bio information that's been changed, you'll be able to keep up with that right here in the activity tab. You also have the ability to add a note for this recruit right here on the app. So while you're watching those games and you wanna type in some notes, you can do that right here so that everybody on your staff can see what you think of this player. And you can also access that later on the team admin side. You can also add to any manual lists here if you wanna add Boogie Flan to any kind of maybe a priority list or however you're using your lists for your program, all your manual lists will pop up right here that you can add them to. You also have the ability to call any of your recruits that you have phone numbers in there for. So right here by clicking on this link when you're on the app on your phone, it's just gonna go ahead and call that recruit right away. So you'll see that right here. As I click back, you're gonna see that right here on this profile as well. Anytime you see the mapping icon right here, this is how you're going to be able to change mapping right here from the app. Right now we have Boogie mapped to PSA Cardinals. Maybe we got to the event and realized he's playing on a different team. All you gotta do is click on that icon and you can come up here and change the team to the correct one that they're playing on. Or maybe Boogie got hurt and didn't actually end up coming to this event. You can go ahead and clear the mapping or completely remove them from the event right here. You also can add recruits right here on the app. So if I click plus recruit, you're going to be able to completely add a new recruit. So just go ahead and fill out some basic bio information here and it'll give you the ability to map them to whatever team that they are on. Maybe you got to the event and you saw that a player that you already have in your recruiting database is playing on one of these teams that you didn't know about. All you gotta do is come up here to my recruits in the top right, click in this box, search the recruit you want, and then you are able to pick which team they are on, which will map them for you. Now that we have gone over the game cards and what you can do within them, let's go back and look at some other things within the Recruit app. So right now you'll notice I'm still on the Events tab and we are on the Schedule tab. As you can see by, we are inside the Nike UIBL event. Now we can toggle over to the Recruits tab and this is gonna show you all of those recruits that you already have mapped to teams at this event. So you can come down here and see all those recruits, jump in there, add notes and add, add to lists just like we showed you before and you can even utilize the search bar right here. You'll always be able to use those sort and filter options as well like we just previously touched on. From right here in the recruits tab, this is another way you can add recruits. So once again, this is how you can add a new recruit or add a recruit that's already in your database. You can toggle over to the teams tab and this is gonna show you all of the teams that you have mapped and also those teams that you have followed. So Mocan and New Heights Lightning, we mapped via those teams. So what this is going to do is let you map multiple kids that are on the same team at once. And then down below these followed teams are gonna let you still see those schedules for those teams without actually having to map kids while you're still looking for those recruits that you wanna to add to your database. Down below, you're gonna have a list of all the attending teams at the event that is still split up by division. So you can still come down on the app and follow whatever teams you would like afterwards while you're there. Utilize the search bar to find those exact teams in the correct divisions that you would like. You can also utilize the mapping button right here to change that mapping however you would like. 
Maybe you clicked on the wrong team before or the wrong division, you can go ahead and just click that drop down and pick the correct one right here from the app or completely remove the team from the event. Next, we can go over to the info tab. This is going to show you all of the venues for this event. And if you click on this map button, it will take you to Google Maps once again and give you turn by turn directions. And lastly, the bell icon. This is going to be any notifications for games that you have assigned to anybody. So maybe a court change or a time change or anything like that. We are staying up to date with that on our end and we will give you a notification right here. So you'll see those notifications kind of stack up right here in this bell icon. So just be on the lookout for those. Now we're gonna jump back and we're gonna to go to the assigned games tab. Your logo in the top of the screen will bring you back to the dashboard. And now, going from the events tab, I can toggle over to the assign games tab. This is just gonna show you those games that are assigned to you. You still have those sort and filter options up top. This is showing us games by day and time, and we can come up and adjust that by court or by those recruits and teams we said were important to us by mapping and following them. Down below, you're still gonna have that game card exactly the same, except the only difference is you are going to see the event that you are looking at for the game card. On this assigned games tab, you might have coaches that are going to multiple events in one weekend. So they are going to be able to see all of the games that they need, whether they're at different events in the assigned games tab. So that's why you are getting that badge right here for the exact event that you're looking at. Other than that, everything is going to work the same here on the Assigned Games tab. When it comes to your game card, adding notes, changing mapping, all of that, you should be good to go right here in the Assigned Games. Jumping back to the Dashboard and the Events tab, you do have the ability to go offline as well. So we know a lot of these events do not have really good service when you're in the gym, so we have the ability to take that entire event offline. What you're going to do is flip this airplane to blue and it's going to add it to the offline list and then once you're outside that event with service before you go in there just go ahead and flip this button to go offline it's going to download that content for you and all you got to do is keep the recruit app open and you'll still be able to access all of that data while you are inside the event without having service you'll still be able to see the games you'll still be able to take notes add recruits all that kind of stuff in between games, just go outside and get some fresh air, get some service. Then all you gotta do is flip this button back and go back online and it will download all that content that you added. So all of your other coaches will be able to see anything that you did. And you'll also get those game updates just in case a court or a time changed or anything like that. So utilize that airplane logo and that offline mode when you know you're not gonna have a lot of service at the event. Right now we're on the schedule tab. You'll also see the all recruits tab right here. This is going to show you your entire recruiting database. So if you wanna look at any recruits that maybe aren't at these events, you'll be able to access your whole database here. And you can even access all those different lists that you have in your account right from your app. You'll still be able to jump in, see your call lists, call any recruits right from your phone if you would like, and even take notes right here on your list. You also have the ability to add manual lists from here as well, so utilize that plus button to do so. Down in the bottom right, you'll have the activity tab. Before we showed you an activity tab inside of each player, this activity tab is going to show you what all of your coaches are doing for every player. So you're gonna have your different tabs to really get exactly what you want, whether it's new notes created, new players created, or any ratings taking for these players you'll be able to see kind of like a Twitter feed right here of everything that everybody's doing. So hopefully we can cut down on those long group messages over these recruiting weekends. Lastly, in the top right, if I open up this menu, you're gonna have your help and support button. So you do have the ability to reach our support channel right here from your app. So if you do have any questions while you are out on the road, just go ahead and click help and support. Type your information right here in the box and click submit. This will ping a support channel of everybody at Just Play that will be waiting to get your questions answered. And that is how you navigate Just Play's recruiting coordinator app.